Bass are aware of our presence way more than we actually give them credit for. Well, I wanted to actually show you what bass do when something's not quite right in their environment. And the first thing that we need to do is define a couple terms between alert and scared. When bass are scared, when they are fearful for their life, well, they are fleeing. They are taking off very, very quickly, could go in any direction. But when bass are put on alert, when they feel like, eh, something's not quite right, I have seen it again and again and again where they kind of slowly, nonchalantly, just make their way to deeper water. They're not in a rush. They don't panic. They just kind of coast down to deeper water. And the key here that we need to remember is the term deeper. It doesn't necessarily mean deep. It could be moving from three or four feet down to somewhere around that eight or nine foot range. What I have seen often supports this. They just slide down a bit. Another way that you can think about it is look for that light penetration line. So that is the point where the sunlight stops penetrating the depths very, very clearly or easily. An easy way to kind of check this is put a lure out there, let it sink and see at what point you can no longer see it and then fish just a little bit deeper than that. So if I'm fishing some water and I can see it, you know, four or five feet down, I'm probably gonna be checking that six, seven, eight foot range. So that is usually what I've seen, the depth that they will drop to. And of course, there's times when they might go really deep, depending on the body of water and the clarity of the water, but they don't go as far away as we think, and they will kind of hang out there, roam around down there until they feel that things are safe again, and then they circle back. And it's this circling back behavior that is I just find very interesting, and I have watched it so many times. So as they kind of get themselves a little bit worried about something, they're on alert, they slip to the little bit deeper water, and then they just make these big circles, and they will come right back to that general area that they were in or hanging around. It could be a, a huge stand of brush. It could be some rock at a boat ramp. There's just a point, you know, the mid part of a point. There's just so many places, but they do this circling back. They don't want to leave that spot. So how can this help us as anglers? First, and probably the most important thing, is if you're out there and that water is pressured, you know, it's a weekend or you've got, you know, tournaments going on, whatever it might be, is do your very, very best to start at what you think is that deeper water. Kind of pinpoint those places. Yeah, those look like those high percentage spots, maybe visually that I want to target or you picked it out on maps or whatever it might be, or even past history. But if there's a lot of pressure out there, start at that little bit deeper water. And man, I know it's hard to do. That stump up there could look so appealing and you want to throw to it so bad. But if you check down the shoreline and you see several other boats ahead of you, well, just immediately start on that bottom edge of that particular shoreline. So many times people are fishing right over the top of these bass and don't even realize what's going on below them. You can always come back to that stump and throw up there, but make sure you check that deeper edge first. Next, if you've messed up an area, which I tend to do a lot, you know, you throw up there and then you get something stuck and you have to kind of, you know, shake your rod around, disturb it, the wind blows you into a spot too quickly, whatever it might be, if you feel like, man, I kind of messed up that spot, think about those bass circling back. There's a really, really good chance, a high percentage chance that if you re let it rest for a bit, they're gonna come right back to it. And then that next time that you fish it or try to work that area over, start farther out than maybe you normally would have and keep slowly working your way in. And hey, if you wanna watch a video that goes over what I feel is an absolute game changer for a shaky head retrieve. It's my favorite one by far. Go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.